Now let's do ratio and proportion word problems. Pansinin kung anong meron dito. Pero never memorize the answer at hindi yan nakakatulong. This is a five-item quiz, so if you haven't answered them yet, pose every item, answer them first before you will see our solutions. And if you find my solutions long as in long, explanation lang po ang mahaba dyan. Kinukonsider ko rin po kasi yung mga nanunood na medyo matagal makagets. Pero kapag gets nyo na, kayo mismo makakreate kung paano ito i-shortcut. Question number one. Sabi nila, lumabas daw ito. Next. Question number two. Question number three. Question number four. And question number five. Itong five-item quiz na ito, pariho lang ito lahat. Kaya, huwag i-memorize. Anong sabi ko dito? Never memorize the answer kasi hindi yan nakakatulong talaga. Ang tandaan nyo or i-practice nyo kung paano ito sagutan ng tama. Kung last na civil service exam ay lumabas si itong question number one, paano kung sa next, iba ang, ibang klaseng ratio and proportion ang lalabas? Like itong sa question number one na lumabas last civil service exam. Huwag nyo i-memorize ang sagot dito kasi hindi talaga yan nakakatulong. Wala kasing nakakaalam kung ano ang lalabas sa next na exam pero sigurado tayo na merong mga ganitong tanong. Example, alam mo paano sagutan si question number one pero ang lalabas sa next na exam ay kahalintulad nitong question number two. So at least alam mo kung paano siya sagutan. Iba-iba lang yung mga numbers na lalabas doon. Question number one, participants in certain conference from Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao are in ratio of 4 is to 3 is to 2. If there are 120 participants from Luzon, how many participants are there in all? Let's do solution number one. This is Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Ratio nila ay 4 is to 3 is to 2. There are 120 participants from Luzon. So, 120 participants. Paano siya naging 120? 120 divided by 4, and that is 30. So, ibig sabihin, mag-multiply tayo ng 30 sa 4. Bali ang 4 is to 3, is to 2, itong si 4, naging or equivalent ng 120. So, 4 times 30 equals 120. Kung nag-multiply ka ng 30 dyan sa 120 mo, ganun din ang gagawin natin sa dito sa Visayas at saka sa Mindanao. 3 times 30, that is 90. 2 times 30, that is 60. So, i-add mo yan lahat, 120 plus 90 plus 60, that is 270. So, ang sagot dito ay 270. Now, let's do solution number 2. I-add mo lang ito, 4 plus 3 plus 2 equals 9. 120 divided by 4 equals 30. So, 9 times 30. 30 equals 270. So, ang sagot dito ay, there are 170 participants in all. Question number 2. Yamaha store sells violins in only three colors, black, white, and brown. The colors are in ratio of 3 is to 4 is to 5. If the store has 24 white violins, how many violins does it have altogether? Take note. 
Itong question na ito, lagi na itong nauulit sa grupong ito. Kung nag-participate kayo sa mga post kong yon, 100% kaya mong sagutan si question number 1 dito na lumabas last civil service exam. Now let's proceed. Si black, white at saka si brown. Si black, white at saka si brown. 3 is to 4 is to 5. Kung itong white ay 24. 24. Paano naging 24? From 4, bali si 4 equivalent ng 24. Paano naging 24? Nag-multiply ka ng 6. Or, paano mo makuha yung 6? 24 divided by 4 is equals to 6. Kung 6 ang multiply mo sa 4 para maging 24, ganun din ang gagawin mo dito sa iba. So, 3 times 6 is equals to 18. 5 times 6 is equals to 30. So, i-add mo yan. 18 plus 24 plus 30 and that is 72. At ito na yung sagot. Now, let's do solution number 2. I-add mo lang ito si 3 plus 4 plus 5 is equals to 12. And then, 24 divided by 4, that is 6. So, 6 times 12, that is 72. So, ang sagot dito, how many violin does it have altogether? 72. Question number 3. The angles of a triangle are in ratio of 3, 4, 8. What are the measures of each angle? Always remember this. Kapag sinabing mga ganito, ito ba ito? Ang total niyan ay always 180 degrees. Basta yung mga angle ba ng triangle... 180 degrees ang total niyan. So, always remember this kasi constant yan siya. 180 degrees si triangle. So, therefore, itong ratio na ito na 3 is to 4 is to 8, ang total niyan ay 180. So, let n be that number na i-multiply natin dito sa tatlo na ito para mag-total tayo ng 180. So, ganito na siya. 3n plus 4n plus 8n equals 180 degrees. Naalala nyo yung question number 1 at question number 2? Yung ratio natin, ina-add natin lahat sila. Tapos, yung total, di ba, nag-multiply tayo doon? So, kung gets nyo yung 1 and 2... So, hindi kayo mahihirapan kung bakit nag-multiply tayo ng letter N dito. Itong N na to, ito yung hahanapin natin. At bakit tayo nag-add? Okay, let's proceed. 3N plus 4N plus 8N and that is 15N tapos equals 180 degrees. So, kung i-transfer natin si 15 dito doon sa kabila, Para ma-isolate si N dito, mag-multiply, mag-divide pala tayo ng 15 to both sides. So, cancel out na si 15 dito. Or, kung pang-multiply si 15 sa N, pang-divide siya doon sa kabila. N is equals to 180 divided by 15 and that is 12. Itong N ay equivalent ng 12. Therefore, 3 times 12, kasi yung N... That is 36. 4 times 12, and that is 48. 8 times 12, and that is 96. Itotal mo yan, diba? That is 180 degrees. So, sa tanong na, what are the measures of each angle? Ang sagot ay, ang isa ay 36 degrees. Tapos, ang isa ay 48 degrees. Then, ang isa ay 96 degrees. Ito yung sagot dito. Uulitin ko lang, or mag-recap lang tayo. I-risk ko nga ito. I-risk ko muna dito, banda. 
The angles of a triangle are in ratio of 3, 4, 8. What are the measures of each angle? Kapag ganito ba si triangle, wag mong kalimutan na constant itong 180 degrees. Yan yung total na angle sa isang triangle. Kaya, ang hahanapin natin ay yung pang-multiply natin dito sa ratio na pwede mang, kung n yan, pwede mang gawin natin siyang x. So, let x be that number na i-add, uh, i-multiply natin dito. So, 3x plus 4x plus 8x, that is 15x equals 180 degrees. And then, pam para ma-isolate natin si variable dito, Itong si 15 pang divide siya sa kabila. So, 180 divided by 15, that is 12. So, itong 12, yan yung equivalent ng x na pang multiply natin dito sa ratio natin. So, 3 times 12, that is 36 degrees. 4 times 12, that is 48 degrees. 8 times 12, that is 96 degrees. Ito na yung sagot dito. Question number 4. Section A, B, C, where in ratio of 3 is to 5 is to 6. And it was decided to increase by 100%, 80%, and 50%. What will be the new ratio? See, section A, B, C. Lagyan natin ng space. Para mas meron tayong mga malaki-laking lugar para mag-solve. Itong si A, that is 3, tapos ang isa ay 5, 6. It was decided to increase by 100%. What do you mean by increased by? That means, kung increased by, yung original number plus yung percentage ng i-increase. That means, 3 plus 100% of 3 is 3. Next, itong si 5 plus 80% of 5, that is 4. Next, si 6 plus 50% of 6, that is 3. So, this one is 6, 9, 9. So, bali 6 is to 9 is to 9. We should always simplify them to its lowest term by finding the greatest common factor para malist siya. Kasi itong 6, 9, 9, meron pong greatest common factor, which is 3. So, 6 divided by 3, and that is 2. 9 divided by 3, that is 3. 9 divided by 3, that is 3. So, ang new ratio natin ngayon ay 2 is to 3 is to Three. Another way of solving this, increased by 100%, that means we will multiply 3 by 200%. Bali, 100% plus 100%, that is 200%. Next, itong 5, i-multiply natin ng 180%. Bakit ka mo may 100%? percent imbes na 80% kasi increased by bali 100% of that number plus 80%. Next, itong sa 6 dito, i-multiply natin ng 150%. So, itong si 200% that is 2 na lang siya. Si 180% and that is 1.8. Then, itong si 150 that is equivalent to 1.5. So, 3 times 2 equals 6. 5 times 1.8 and that is 9. Then, 6 times 1.5 and that is 9. Tapos, hanapan natin ng greatest common factor. Kapag mayroon siyang common factor or greatest common factor dito, dapat gamitin natin yan para malist siya. We should always simplify them kasi nga, Ang tanong dito is, what will be the new ratio? Itong 6 is to 9 is to 9. Ang greatest common factor nila ay 3. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. And another 9 divided by 3 equals 3. 
O ang sagot dito ay 2 is to 3 is to 3. Kung merong nakatake sa inyo last year yata yon, lumabas po ang ganitong tanong. Question number 5. At present, the ratio between the ages of Anne and Dina is 4 is to 3. After 6 years, Anne's age will be 26 years. What is the age of Dina at present? So ito si Anne at ito si Dina. Ang ratio nila ay 4 is to 3. Now ito now. Then, after, after 6 years, itong si Anne ay magiging 26 after 6 years. Para dun tayo sa now, mag-minus tayo ng 6. So, bali now, ang edad ni Anne ay 20. Ito yung si now. Ito yung edad ni Anne now. Ang ratio ni Anne to Dina is 4 is to 3. Ngayon, Yung 4 ay equivalent ng 20 kasi yun yung now na edad ni Anne. Kasi after 6 years, 26 siya. Mag-minus tayo ng 6 para doon tayo mag-focus sa now na edad ni Anne. 20 divided by 4 and that is 5. So, bali, mag-multiply tayo ng 5 sa 4 para maging 20. Kung ano yung minu-multiply mo sa 4 para maging 20, yan din ang gamitin nating i-multiply sa edad ni Dina na galing sa ratio na 4 is to 3, so itong 3 times 5 equals 15. So, ang sagot dito, what is the age of Dina at present? 15 years old. Mag-recap lang tayo. At present, the ratio between the ages of Anne and Dina, ito si Anne and Dina, is 4 is to 3. After 6 years, after 6 years, ito daw si Anne ay magiging 26 so, bali at present, ang edad ni Anne ay 20. Kasi minus natin ang 6. Kasi after 6 years pa man yun. So, doon tayo sa now. So, bali, ang edad ni Anne ngayon ay 20. Nasaan ang 20 dito? Dito tayo sa 20. Si Anne, ang edad ngayon niya ay 20. Kung ang ratio nila ay 4 is to 3. Tapos, yung 4 ay naging 20. Hanapin natin yung number na pang-multiply natin dito sa 3 natin dito kay Dina para makuha natin ang edad ni Dina by dividing 20 by 4. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. So, itong 5, yan yung pang-multiply natin sa dalawang number na to. So, erase natin nga ito, erase. 4 times 5 equals 20. So, ganun din ang gagawin natin. 3 times 5 equals 15. So, ang sagot nito ay 15 years old.